Hey guys, welcome to the next session and today in this session we are going to see how we can download and install Java development kit that is JDK version 8 on our Mac operating system. So I am using a Macbook which is having the Apple silicon chip. So I am going to show you the procedure to install the JDK 8 on the Macbook which is having the Apple silicon chip itself. So without wasting much more time you can just pull up your google chrome or any favorite browser and inside the browser you can just type download jdk8 and the hopefully the first result that you will find will be from the oracle's official website so let me just click on this first link and i will provide the link into a description box so you can just check out that link in the description itself and now then we will find the different results and the results in which we are interested is this mac os 64 so uh, in which we will just find one section that is called as java se development kit and which will be having the version 8 and over here you will find that list of different operating systems and their respective download links so the link in which we are interested is mac os x64 and the file will be having the extension of dot dmg and this file will be around 200 MB so we have to click on this particular link so let me click on these and let me just click this checkbox and we can just click on the download jdk8.dmg and then it will take us to the oracle's sign in page and i have the oracle account which is um, which is like i have the username and password so i can just pull up pull the username and password here and i can just click on the signing button but otherwise, if you don't have any account associated with Oracle, then you can just create the new account. And then after creating a new account, you, will just, you can just put your username and password here. And as soon as we'll click on the sign in button after entering the valid username and password, then the download for the JDK will get started. So to save the time and for the purpose of this session, I have already downloaded this a JDK 8 on my system and I kept it on my downloads folder so let me first of all show you that file so let me click on the finder and then inside these doc downloads we will find this JDK file so this uh, this is the same JDK file that I have shown to download so this is the file so let me right click on these and open and then we have to just wait and then it will just show these uh, .pkg file again so we have to double click on these or we have to click right click and open it again and then it will show us the instruction to install the JDK 8 so let me just click the continue and over here you can just um, you can just install this JDK in this specified location I have already installed the JDK on my machine so it is not showing me one button over here but if you are installing for the first time then hopefully it will show you one button which will be having the text like change the location by using that button you can just change the installation directory for this jdk but if you don't have any good reason to change it you can just keep the same and you can just click on install and then it is asking me for the password of my macbook so let me just pull the push the password here and let me click on install the software and it is it will take around 10 to 20 seconds to install the software and then once the software installation is done we can hopefully try to run one simple java program that i have created so we can just wait till the installation gets successful but till then let me just show you the program that i have written so let me just open the java directory which is having my on my desktop so let me open that one and inside the java i have one i have created one main class dot java file so let me just open it with a vs code and then this particular program is basically very simple program which is having one statement that is system.out.println you have installed jdk on mac em1 so this is the simple program that i'm going to show you to run and then let me just uh, go to this install jdk8 and over here now i'm getting the message like the installation was completed successfully so we just need to click on the close button and then it is asking us like whether you want to keep your installer file or not so if you don't want to keep it you can just move it to bin otherwise you can just keep it so i want to keep it so i'm just going to click on the keep button and then let me just uh, let me just click on these apple's logo and then let me click on the system preferences and now after successfully installing the jdk 
inside of the system preferences you will find this java option like i'm getting over here so we will find the java option that means it the jdk version is installed on our mac operating system successfully so let me click this option and now let me show you how we can run this particular simple program so let me just open the terminal first and then let me just show you the command to open it so first of all if you want to check the version that you have installed on your mac so you have to type java dash version so this is the command and this command is basically going to show you what is the version that is installed on your mac operating system so i have just installed this 1.8 so it is showing me the 1.8 and it is showing me some uh, jre and some other information as well so now let me just go to this java directory which is present on my desktop so let me first of all do cd desktops and then let me just use cd then java and then let me just list out all these files that i have so i have a uh, one file that is called as a main class dot java so let me just use java c main class dot java and then it is going to compile uh, the main class so let me just open the folder again and then inside this folder now after compiling we are able to see the main class dot class file as well which is which gets generated after com successful compilation of the java file so now let me minimize this and let me just write java main class and now we are able to see the message like you have installed a jdk on mac m1 so now we are successfully able to install the jdk and we are successfully able to run our first program as well so this is how you can install the jdk on your mac operating system i shown you the procedure to install it on a macbook which is using the apple's silicon chip but if you are using the macbook which is having the um, having the intel chip then also you can follow the same procedures there is no any such a big difference in that so i hope you got an idea around this installation process and still if you have any questions let me know into the comment section i will try my best to help you out in that case so i hope you enjoyed this session we'll see you in the next session